Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how quicksort works. So given this list of random comparable keys, there are 8 values, um, we first find the pivot. So since this list is already randomly ordered, we just make always the first one as a pivot. And there are two pointers. Uh, the red box indicates the pivot, uh, the pointer for left partition. The blue box indicates the pointer for right partition. So the goal is to have all the values in the left partition smaller than the pivot and all the keys in the right partition greater than the pivot. So we, the left box now try to find some keys that are greater than the pivot so you just keep moving on until you find one and luckily you find right away seven and the blue box now try to find any key that's actually um, smaller than the pivot so you find one and once you find it so they don't belong to this partition so you swap and you do keep doing this again so the red box now try to find something greater so four you stop and now you actually, the right partition, if the blue box tries to find some value that's actually smaller than the 3, which is the pivot, you have to go all the way to 1. At this point, the po two pointers actually crossed each other. So instead of trying to do the swap between these two, now you do the swap between the right partition pointer and the pivot, which is 1 and 3. So now, as you can see, um, by 3, everything on the left are smaller and everything on the right are greater than the pivot value. So the, now the pivot is in place, so we don't even have to consider that again. And now there are two partitions which has to be, um, the quicksort has to be performed um, separately. So let's look at the left one. Um, so the pivot is the very first value and since there are only two keys in this list, we actually have both left and right partition pointers point to the same thing, which is 2. And the only thing you can do here is just making it crossed. At this point, the right partition is pointing to 1, which is also the pivot. And even if you do the swap, it's the same thing, so nothing happens. Okay, let's move on to the right one. Um, the 4 is the pivot and 6 and 5 are the pointers. So 6 is already in place, um, so now we try to find the blue box has to move to some value that's actually smaller than the pivot value. So if you do, it goes all the way to the 4. And again, now the since it across, you try to swap between the pivot and the right um, partition pointer, which is blue box, and when you do the swap, nothing happens. So in this layer, nothing really happens, except now you found two more um, pivots that are in place. Okay, so you still have two um, lists that you have to work, but the first one has only one item, so there's nothing has to be done. The second one actually now has four items, so um, six is the pivot, eight and five are the pointers. So eight, uh, you, the red box, you have to find some value that's actually greater, which is, uh, is already found. And the blue box has to find something that's smaller than the pivot, which is already found. So in this case, since the uh, pointers didn't across, uh, you do the swap. And now you try to move on. And at this point, the pointers do cross each other. So um now you try to do the swap between the pivot and the right partition pointer which is five and six and once you do that you're done and you have a list in ascending order